What's up guys, it's Kayla and Jim. Welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. about today <laughs> well we've been talking about for the past few weeks obviously <laughs> the twisters movie we're talking about twisters because why would we talk about anything else <laughs> we promise we're not going to beat the dead horse this is the last video on twisters for a little while but we figured we gave you guys a couple weeks to go see the movie now let's get into some of the details of what was in twisters that was in twister what was in twister that wasn't in twisters and all of the things very confusing to say because the names are very similar. That's right, yeah. You get the... You get the <laughs> That's right. So, obviously, we watched the movie. And over the past few weeks, you guys have watched the movie, too. You guys have been posting comments. Thank you so much for your comments. And we've been tabulating all of those. We want to go through some of those in today's video and do some comparisons between Twister and Twisters. But before we get started... If you find that you are enjoying this video along the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below so you never miss the next Meteorology Monday. For the month of August, we are running a special on our School of Weather, so make sure that you hop on that, save you some money. The first two videos of Tier 1 are free, and the link in the description box is at the very top. And if you like what you see there, go ahead and get you the rest of Tier 1 for a discount, get you the rest of Tier 2 for a discount, and we will see you over there. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the comments and, and some of our thoughts as well. We didn't get to everything, but we did tabulate quite a bit. So basically we've broken it down into four categories, and that is references and similarities between the two movies, what is in Twister that is not in Twisters, what is in Twisters that's not in Twister, and any additional comments. So let's get started with the references between the two movies. If you saw our meteorologist reacts to Twisters, we were a little underwhelmed with how many similarities they were, but after reading some of your comments, after re-watching parts of Twister and then re-watching parts of Twisters, we have come up with a pretty comprehensive list here. That's right, and a lot of them came from your suggestions, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just gonna read them off. All right, we ready? All right, let's look at our first one, and that is, a tragic event fuels the determination to chase and gather data and to one day predict and or control weather processes that makes tornadoes. I mean, this is just a common thread across every natural disaster movie. That's right. Between Twister and Twisters, you yep. have Joe and her backstory. Kate and her backstory is pretty Kate much and the her same. Kate backstory. Yep. Hit by a tornado, fuels the meteorological rage and the <laughs> desire. Fuels to the do motivation better. to. That's right. The motivation of rage. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> the one that said tabulate three times. What the heck does tabulate even mean? <laughs> Obviously, Dorothy is a really big reference from one movie to the other. Dorothy 4 appears in both. And is just as shiny 27 years later. Don't know where they've been keeping it. That thing was hit by an EF5 tornado at the end of the last movie. It's a million years later, it looks brand new. So I don't know whose job it was to polish Dorothy every day, but they need a raise. Here's one on the actual study of the tornadoes, the why they form and improving the warning lead times. So yes. that was common between the two. Yes, which is interesting because in 1996, yes, we should increase warning times. However, in 2024, if you saw a review, you know, not a, not a warning box to be seen. Maybe this is a fictional world where warning <laughs> boxes don't exist. The NWS does not exist. But we're still trying to increase warning times. No, this is something that we're actually doing in real life. Scientists are trying to increase the warning time from, I believe it's a solid like 15-ish minutes now, but having a couple hours in advance before a tornado hits would be a great thing. This is reflected in both Twister and Twisters. That's right. Of course, in some of the movies we've reacted to, there would be no warning because there's no rotation, it's a sunny day, and all of a sudden there's a column of spinning air. How would you warn on that? You don't. But that's a whole other tangent. Watch the rest of our meteorologist reacts to other weather movies. That's not Twister or Twister specific. That's, that's right. 
Super Cyclone. Let's get into the next one, and that is a, a daily outing or activity impacted by a tornado. Oh, yes. In Twister, we had the drive-in movie scene, mm -hmm. and in Twisters, we have the rodeo scene. Oh. Everyday activities, people are being impacted because of tornadoes approaching. Another big similarity between Twister and Twisters is the competition between two big storm-chasing teams. You've always got the, you know, yeehaw, let's go get them, and then you've got the the team that's kind of in it for the money. Common between both movies. That's right. The the difference between or the contrast between the grossly underfunded team and the one that has deep pockets. So, that is, yeah. If you feel it. <laughs> We're just gonna keep sneaking that into that's right. every possible. All right, the next one is Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Enough said for that one. Let's move on to the next. A red Dodge Ram truck. Dodge Ram? Dodge Ram. I think they used to be the same, but now they're not, right? I don't Let, know. It's really confusing. For the sake of argument, let's just say a red Dodge slash Ram truck in mm -hmm. both. Mm -hmm. Was Bill driving a red Dodge Ram or Ram would, would it might be the same truck. Maybe he bought it from Bill. It's definitely not the same truck. It's not the same truck. Unless the same person who was polishing Dorothy was polishing the truck. <laughs> A great similarity between both the movies is they both had their storm chasing team stop and help the local community that was affected by the tornadoes. These natural disasters are devastating to communities and if you're out there and you're able to stop after chasing the great thing to include in a Hollywood film. That's right and many are certified in CPR and, mm -hmm. and other things like that to help out so yeah definitely definitely very good. Okay here's one that has been commented on a lot it's the I'm not back yep. mentioned by there Kate as a possible throwback to Bill in Twister. We captured that, you guys nailed it. At first it was, I heard it, it kind of clicked and then didn't because it just kind of moved on, but yeah. it didn't really it was very solidify. Subtle. Yeah. yeah, it was very subtle. So yeah. it was just kind of like, oh yeah, it's just natural conversation, I yeah. see. And what is this thing that's floating in front of me? I think it's dog hair. <laughs> Hazel. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, the I'm not back reference. Nice guys. Here we go, your favorite. Driving through hail cores. We're just gonna go straight through the hail core for no reason. We could go around it? No, we have to go through it. Why? Because we have to drive through the tornado to get to the other side to see the tornado. Does it make sense? <laughs> it doesn't, but we're gonna keep doing it because drama, folks. Hollywood has a Hollywood. If there is not softball sized hail falling onto the windshield of somebody's car and there's no destruction other than a couple scratches because we have to get to this tornado. Never mind that it's rain wrapped because you're in the hail core of a storm. Yeah. And Dorothy was safe the whole time. That's fine. I can just see when they were recording it, the truck in front of them just dumping hail. Just it, throwing just ice, ice cubes. cubes. Dumping the, Why are we throwing ice cubes all the time? <laughs> why can't we be on the correct side of a storm? Why do we always have to be punching the core? <laughs> Just get the next one. There were 700 tornadoes between the two movies. I mean, if you waited 15 minutes, I'm sure there was one behind you that you could have just turned around and been like, ah, there it is. No, we're going to punch the hail core. Destroy <laughs> our cars, but not our equipment. That, that one really gets you, doesn't it? <sighs> <laughs> next one is taking cover under a bridge. Now with Twister, it wasn't really the, the bridge that we all know like about overpass. when we talk about this yeah. subject. Yeah, it's not a highway overpass. But again, there is that similarity. Yep. All right, here's one from someone from uh, One Mori, hopefully I said that right, uh, mentioned that Kate and her friends attended the same college, Muskogee State College, as Joe and her team. Yeah, I didn't know that fact. That was cool to learn in the comments. Thank you for commenting that. The use of CGI, then yep. versus now. Much better nowadays, but still pretty impressive in the original Twister movie as well. Very. All right, another one of Kayla's favorite topics. Tornadoes that just drop from out of nowhere. Out of nowhere! <laughs> no setup, no nothing. There it is. In this movie, it only happened once. It was... The rodeo scene. Was there a buildup that we didn't see? Probably, but somehow these storm chasing meteorologists didn't get an alert on their phone. They weren't watching the skies. They didn't have the radar pulled up. So I consider this a tornado out of nowhere. I think they did have the alert go off on their phones. It went off as the tornado was four inches from their faces. Okay, just one. I some... count that as appeared out of nowhere because I mean, if it was, 
If it had touched down, they got the warning and it was over there. Ain't got no it. way this EF-17 just appeared in front of them and nobody knew about it. That's a tornado out of nowhere. EF-17. I mean, it, it was wide, okay? <laughs> it was a large tornado. Here's one that's near and dear to our hearts, and that is actual radar imagery of showing actual storms and not a hurricane over Florida. It was great. <laughs> it moved me. She shed a tear. I did. All right, so not in every scene of Twisters, but there were some that did happen, and that was the tornadoes hitting the main characters and then instantly evaporating afterwards. There it goes. The biggest one that I can think of is it actually didn't hit our main characters, which they would have preferred it to. It was with the twin tornadoes and you got the uh, the Yeehaw team off to the side and they're chasing. They're like, we got the right storm and the tornado like disappears right before it gets to them. It doesn't rope out, doesn't nothing, just kind of like whooshes into like fog right in front of their truck and they don't get hit by the tornado when they want to be hit by the tornado. I do consider that in the bin of tornado disappears conveniently for plot. But significantly less of that happening in the Today movie of Twisters. That's right. A ridiculously awesome driving oh, scenario. Just great. <laughs> Nothing gets you hyped up in the movie theaters like watching the absolutely like amazing driving skills of all these people. Bill was doing it. Tyler Owens was doing it. It was just great. Phenomenal. And one of the last ones is the theater drive-in scene throwback. Yes, the theater in El Reno that they all hid in in Twisters when you kind of had the tornado taking away the back wall and then there it is, it goes from movie screen to real life and there's the tornado. It was very reminiscent of the drive-in scene where it starts eating away at the screen and there's the tornado. It's like, oh, I don't know. It was a very subtle reference. All right, so now let's move on to things that were in Twister and not in Twisters. Here's some of our observations. The first one being Aunt Meg's steak and eggs. I mean, it's that come favorite. on, it's classic. It is. It's why I watched the movie. I mean, Kate went home <laughs> to her mom. There couldn't have been steak and eggs there. And. How about the classic music choices? Oh, I mean... humans being. Is there anything? <laughs> nothing's gonna. I mean, Twisters has a good one. It does. Is it humans it does. being? It's not. Twisters sets the bar. It I think for does. it. It just. It just had. It was the right song yep. for for that scene. Uh, Twister had a more wild edge to it, character-wise. Yeah. Yeah, all the, the characters in Twister were more adventurous in a chaotic way, I yeah. would say. The movie Twister is, is just kind of like 90 minutes of chaos. <laughs> right. I mean, when you take a look at like what Joe does, what Bill does, Dusty, you yeah. know, some of the other some of the other people on the team uh, versus Kate's team. Now, for Tyler's team, True. it seemed like they did have a little bit of wildness there, so there was that element. I guess we kind of put that as a similarity yeah. between the two. Yeah. But the focus was more on Kate yeah. and, and, and her team, so they were a little bit more chill vibe than, say, on the Twister side of things. And even in Twisters, when Kate does join up with Owens and the team, it turns out that they do actually have scientific knowledge, and he's actually a meteorologist, and there's the chaos of chasing, but there's also, like, let's get stuff done, like, let's do the, some science things, whereas Joe's team was, let's do science in the most chaotic way possible. Let's put little like tin can things, let's throw them into the storm. If I have to, I will carry Dorothy myself, is Joe's mentality. The That's car right. flips through the air. She doesn't care at all. She's like, ah, there's my truck. It just fell out of a tornado. Not a care in the world. Moving on to the next one. More realistic science in terms of collecting data versus disrupting the tornado. Yeah, there was a lot more in the original Twister of the science that we now see today of studying tornadoes, getting probes into tornadoes, recording wind speed, recording how tornado physics work, and then applying that to increasing warning times, yada yada. As opposed to Twisters where they were doing the cloud seeding and the diaper powder to absorb the storms it's a little bit i mean 20 years from now maybe we'll be doing that we'll be like oh twisters was ahead of its time right like we did with twister but yeah a little bit more plausible science in the original twister movie the last thing that twister has that twisters does not is the rolling house <laughs> with the driving through it i mean talk about like we said chaos that always works out this is something how does that happen phenomenal scene iconic wasn't in twisters 
We're going in. <laughs> Let's move on to the next topic, and that is what's in twisters that's not in twister. So the first one I got here is the use of fireworks. That's a new one. We're gonna shoot fireworks into a tornado. <laughs> and uh, why did we do that? Because the internet asked, folks. So uh, <laughs> check out our Patreon and our School of Weather down below. Uh, if we receive enough funds, we will be going to Oklahoma and shooting fireworks into tornadoes. Not really. <laughs> um, but, I was like, but, oh, that's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. Trying to stop or reduce tornado strength by cloud seeding and such. Yeah, this is just going off of what we just said for the realistic science in Twister. Kind of more of a out there idea for Twisters that maybe we don't see in modern science yet. Next one is newer technology, including drones and social media. Yes, the use of social media and storm chasing in this film was so cool because it brought to life what it's really like to be a storm chaser out in Oklahoma. Yes, everybody has a social media that's out storm chasing. Yes, there's live streams. Obviously, the comparison here is to Reed Timmer. But the, the use of all this modern technology and flying drones into that area of the storm and stuff, very cool to see how they have updated the technology in Twister yeah. to Twisters. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be in Twister because they didn't well, have it back yeah. then, you know, nothing like we know now. You mean but... you didn't have Instagram in 1996? <laughs> We're lucky we had the internet in 1996. <laughs> the use of multiple small radars named Lion, Scarecrow, and Tin Man. That yes. I thought was ingenious in their very writing. Very cool. And oh very gosh. cool. And the contrast between the the DAOs, the, mm -hmm. the Doppler on wheels that they have to stay out of the hill cores and stuff like that and be positioned safely, whereas theirs was portable, tucked in the back of a truck, protected from a hail core, and they could get to where they needed to go and take it out of the back, set it up, yeah. and get out of there. So very interesting very piece cool. of technology. And they used the Wizard of Oz names they kept with the theme. Um, but that is the kind of technology advances that I expected to see in Twisters taking technology that we actually have with the DAOs, but they have to stay out of the storm, kind of turning them into a portable phased array radar, which I've seen one and it is huge. So I don't know how they fit into a small thing, but super cool, but something that's plausible and then mm -hmm. putting them around tornadoes and they can get hit by hail and debris and stuff and it's going to be okay. Super cool concept. I love what they did there. Numerous well-placed technical and meteorological references. Yeah, they really did squeeze the whole alphabet of terms in there. Didn't they? <laughs> they did, and it was it was relevant. Now in it Twister, yeah. they they did do a lot of things, but they did. some of it was kind of out of. <laughs> it really wasn't valid, basically. Right. You know, real time lifted indices, and there were some other things that went on that was like, well, no, they, that's not real. Lifted indice is, but not real time. Anyway, I think. Twisters did a much better job with using yeah. the terminology. All right, we have one from uh, Simba1996 said, Bill Paxton's son plays a cameo role. Now that's interesting. Ooh, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So if that's true, it was the one where the guy was there with his girlfriend at the uh, motel. Kate and Tyler were running in because the tornado was coming. So it was that scene there. Interesting, okay. If that's true, that's very interesting. Yeah. Here's a big one that I noticed, and that is, is that there was more chasers on the road, more novice chasers on the road, and yep. how they have to weave in and out. And yep. when we were looking at Twister, you could see it was just the two chase teams and <laughs> they were hazard Probably. unto themselves. But now in Twisters, they had not only the teams going at it to get to there, you had other chases as well, other yes. chasers as well. And that is a very real very. threat compared to 1996. Yeah, especially because this was supposed to be like the biggest outbreak that Oklahoma has ever seen. Like, of course the roads are gonna be packed with novice storm chasers. What was the throwaway line in the movie? Like, anybody who has a, a $10 radar app is gonna be out today. As we're looking at our $10 radar app. <laughs> I like radar scope for my $10 each. But yeah, super cool because that is a very realistic thing. There's gonna be chaser traffic. There's gonna be a lot of people out there. There's gonna be other people, you know, filming and recording and putting on social media and, and people pulling aside those who are more social media famous like Reed Timmer and be like, hey, what's up? Very relevant. And if you're interested in storm chasing, we have a video on storm chasers toolbox. We do if you wanna learn how to <laughs> storm chase yourself. We have a series of videos that we have put together here on YouTube about how to get you started. Safely. 
And we come to the last topic, and that is some other comments that we saw, which I thought was pretty cool. So we have Red Mist SE7LD says they had the Twisters popcorn bucket there in the movie theater. I did not see that. We did not see that either. What? They sent a picture as well, so that was really cool. If they had that at your movie theater, go ahead and comment below. I wish we had one. We should have gone to the bigger movie theater. And then uh, another comment, pardon me if I'm misspelling, miss saying this, but uh, Jose J572, uh, Kate's fear versus Joe's curiosity. The similarities and key differences between Joe and Kate were very interesting as it kind of seemed at the beginning of the movie like they might be the same character, just redone. But where Joe gets fired up after an event happens, Kate kind of shut down. She moved to New York City, she avoided everything, whereas Joe went chasing for the rest of forever. Very interesting how you have two very similar characters go through very similar events and then it kind of splits the timeline and one goes this way and one goes this way. And that kind of goes back to one of our other talking points. Uh, the differences between Twister and Twisters when mm -hmm. it comes to the characters that there was more of a, a wilder concept to some of these characters in Twister yeah. versus Twisters and this is one of those cases. Yeah and it's kind of refreshing to see a character that's like no I went through this event and I'm actually kind of scared of these things now um, adds another realistic element instead of just the normal like, I went through a tornado and now I never want to see one ever again, or I went through a tornado, I'm gonna chase him every day. You had Kate who walked this line, and it was great just um, how she was fearful, and then it turned into what it turned into at the end. So there you have it, there are some comparisons between Twister 1996 and Twisters 2024. Again, if you like what you saw, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below so you never miss the next Meteorology Monday. Check out all of our previous Twisters related videos if this is a topic that really interests you. As we said in the beginning, check out our School of Weather if you want to learn the basics of meteorology. Like we also said, the first two videos of Tier 1 are free right now on our website. Check it out top of the description box. While you're down there, check out our social media. Facebook and Instagram popping up here. Post all of our weather adventures there. Bunch of fun things on our stories all the time, so don't miss out. And until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next Meteorology Monday. You want to do the last one? It just got so dark. <laughs> it might rain here pretty soon. Hey there, Debs.